All right, we are live. Now, everything looks good, looks good. I like the angle. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 11.15, not bad. Bumped it back just a few minutes. Let's go videos live. Welcome, everybody. Of the delay here, it's okay, not bad, not bad. All right, let me extend you out to theater mode so I can see the chat. Well, maybe not. Let's go back here. No, not mini player. Let's close that. Let's jump on here. All right. Default view. There we go. Good times, Roger Deming. Good to see you here. Um, how do I sound, guys? Can you hear me over here? Walking away. You still hear me okay? Okay, okay. All the way over here. All the way over on the other side of the truck. You can hear me okay? Cool. I'll bring that up a little bit. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. Uh, let me adjust this camera angle just a smidge. Bring you up a little bit. So that way I'm not cutting off the top of my head. Right out of 14. Yeah, that's just the way I'm looking at it. Yeah, it looks better. I think. Ah, oh, it's just the way I'm looking at it. Oh, that's why. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Do, 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 do. We got the chat going. Chariot Theriot is here. Hello, hello. Why Sven is here. How's it going? Chance Theriot. Chance, not <laughs> Chariot Theriot. Chance Theriot. Chance is going good. Thanks. Slat sides correct. Yes, I'm doing uh, sideboards for my truck. Uh, I'll be doing a hayride for my daughter and uh, some other families that we get together, our Corona bubble, if you will. Um, and we're going to be working on, I'm, I'm going to be working on building uh, the side boards for the truck because we're going to be doing a hayride on, uh, on Halloween. So we're going to have a Halloween party for my daughter and her friend, a few of her friends, a few of our friends, families that we get together with. And so I wanted to have a hayride in the back of my pickup truck. Um, but I want to be able to put some bales of hay on the sides and have it sit up a little bit so they can sit up on the bales of hay as well as some hay inside the truck and to be able to do that and have everybody feel safe. Obviously, we're just going to be driving around the, like a neighborhood, so we're not going very fast, maybe 10 miles an hour, right? Um, but I want to put up some sideboards on the side of the truck so that way we'll give a little bit more protection, a little bit more safety, a little feeling of safety inside the back of the truck. So that's what we'll be working on today. Um, I think I have everything set up here and ready to go. I should be able to um, start by taking apart this pallet. Um, I need um, just the two by four from this, I think, um, or two by one and a half, which is what the size of the holes in the side of my truck bed are, two by one and a half. Um, so I think I'm going to do my verticals off of that. Uh, have another, have some more wood. I might be able to just cut down, um, but I'd have to double check with that. <laughs> what I didn't think about it until just a second. Thank you, everybody. Good, good. T is silent. Therio, ah, Therio. Chance Therio. This looks like functional and fashionable. Yes. Thank you. Caitlin said Mike sounds good. Thank you, Caitlin. Appreciate it. All right. Chance Therio. All right. So let's see. Um, two by one and a half. Like I said, these pallet pieces are two by four. They're actually one and a half by four, so a little bigger than standard uh, two by fours. So I was thinking about cutting, breaking this up and using one of these. I need six, because I have six of three um, spots on each side to be able to put in sideboards. So I need six verticals, and I want the top 
of each one to be at 16 inches. So that is yay tall about here where my tape measure is. So we're looking at about 16 inches, which is there, which would be fine. I have uh, some two by six and some two by four, full dimension two by four, or I guess they're not, oh, yeah, they are. Two by six and two by fours that are the right length that are at least eight feet long, which I'm standing on now. So I'll be, uh, I'll be using these as the sides with the verticals. And when I think about it, I wonder if I have, so I'm gonna walk away from the camera real quick. You guys see me walk over toward the house. If I lose connection, I'm sorry. At least with my mic, I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't you love it when your host just leaves you hanging out by his truck? That's all there. That, that could put that down. That already has it's a two by four. Awesome. Let's see, but that's too small. Look at this one. That and one more. Yeah, I love it. All right. Hopefully, let's see if you guys lost me completely or not. <laughs> What's up? Good. All right. So I have a few more pieces. I was thinking, sorry guys about that. Appreciate everybody hanging in there. 12 watching, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thanks, Chance. Yeah, it's a 1989 F-150. Um, I got it, uh, maybe 2016, 15, 16, for $1,200. Nice and cheap, it's a great one. Sounds good, but looking pretty darn sexy. Hell yeah. Got my Mountain Prevail shirt on, that Jesse Allison. Thank you so much. If you guys were watching the live stream last week, you saw Jesse sent me a box of stabilized wood for Woodworking. All right. Hello. Hi. Look what we got, guys. Grin's still inside. You can go inside. You can go see her, and she's inside. She and Nicole are making uh, Corinne's Halloween costume. Where is it? Oh, you have to go see. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it is chilly out here today. What? I'll help you out, bud. Yeah, it's open. You can go in. Yep. Ah. All right. All right, so I was thinking that I might be able to use what I already have. Now, I have a couple two by fours. Um, you know, the thing about a two by four is though it's not actually two inches by four inches, an inch and a half by three and a half inches. So that would put me at, let's see, this is, I want it to be a, at least a full two. One and three quarters. And I guess that could work. I'd rather have it tighter. I want to do a full two. Um, so I think I am just gonna break this apart because these are actually one and a half by four inches total. All right. Sean's here from Crafting a Life I Want. Here to hang out, help out. Let's see. I guess I'm going to move this over for a second. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we got. What do we got? What do we got? All right, so I'm going to start by breaking apart basically this. I want to use this middle one. It's the cleanest of the three because obviously it's pallet wood, a big pallet. And, um, you know, they don't, they don't use the best wood for it. But... I want to use this one, so I think what we'll do is 
maybe pop these two, these three off first. And then, or actually no, maybe we'll leave them and work this way first. Actually, if I just break these three off, then I can take the whole thing out that way. Are you planning on using the cross pieces at all? No, just, okay. just this one. Okay. And I should be able to, because I can rip it down the middle with the saw and then be able to use it. And then it's two by inch and a half, because this is an actual, it's actually four inches. So, so these, I think these come off first. As long as those nails come out with them, which it looks like it is, which is good. And one of them came out. You got that. Stuff down. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Not too bad. All right, now, yeah, that's, that's okay. Now let's see if we can get this out that way. It might be more of a combination of two things, hitting out and hitting in. Yeah, yeah that's go. probably a better idea. Yeah. I just figured it'd be easier to pop it. There. Now, let's see if this will come out now. Thank you. <laughs> Doing. I think we have all but one, one nail. All right, that was quicker than I anticipated, which is good. A little trick if you're trying to pull out stubborn nail instead of trying to do a full like if it's not moving you can't get it to go like this twist your hammer sideways and turn it and it'll usually i mean it'll bend the nail but it works to grip it and pull it a little bit better you have a little bit more leverage leverage like that instead of trying to pull it straight out you just get it to twist it actually works really well one out all right oh, brought your hammers little brother <laughs> All right, let's see. Cool. I wonder, can you see them? Mm -hmm. uh, right on the edge. <laughs> Here, let me do. There you go. Now you can see the kids playing in the background. <laughs> All right, so this we need to rip straight down the middle because I need at least uh, two, four, six. So it's plenty, plenty long. It's seven and a half feet. Um, I was thinking if I had at least 24 inches for each thing, we can kind of get them in, uh, put the sideboards on, clamp them on and then mark it, get it like level or whatever, you know, level the right distance, mark it on the boards and on these and we can build it here. And it should be fine. So I'm thinking one of the two by sixes, one of the two by fours on each side. So three inches up, two by four, three inches up, two by six, which will put us at 16 inches. Okay. It should be good. First thing we gotta do is rip this. And I will warn everyone, the blade on my circular saw is not, not that uh, sharp. So we'll see how well it works. I could have brought that too. <laughs> I do have like I have another circular. Jared, I actually have two more circulars. Looks roughly the age of the of the circular saw. Don't judge my blade. <laughs> <laughs> it will spin fast and it will cut. 
If it cuts straight, that's a different question. <laughs> All right, that's the plug here. We got 28 people hanging out. Let's see what we got. Flippin' Zippo, I like that name. Flippin' Zippo. <laughs> Jesse shirt. called you sexy in your shirt. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's just the shirt, though, right? Right, Jesse? Not anything else? <laughs> All right, so let's see. I'm going to clamp this. You just eyeballing this? Uh, no, I'm going to mark it. I should do that shirt first before I clamp it. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I'm going to eyeball. I'm not going to set up a fence, but I do want to mark it in the middle. something to follow along. Ouch. Splinter. Let's not put my hand like that. And actually, I can do like this. There we go. That's better. Actually, there's a little groove on there. Sign to keep your pencil right in that line. My speed square. So I'm just marking off the center, which is two inches, so I can rip it straight down the middle and use this one board for both. Yeah, good. All right. Clamp that. This. Let's do there. And one on the end. I'll rip straight. <laughs> you saw the geese just fly? We're building sideboards for my truck. And what sideboards are, they're the wooden side, the things go on the side to bring the sides up. So it'll be some wooden slats across here, like a hayride. So we can do a hayride in my truck on Halloween. Leon, when you guys are done. What do you mean? Yes, when we're done. And oh, yes. When you guys put hay. Yeah. Right, yes, the hay's gotta go in there first. <laughs> All right, I'll set that down. Set depth. I assume you don't Just care enough. about the board you're cutting on? No. Okay. Yeah, I can go right into it just a little bit. I'm gonna go a little deeper.
Ah, oh, sorry. here to hear me. <laughs> Start with anything. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Chance at a question. Wish I could be there doing making things. Always fun to watch people work. <laughs> Thanks guys. Um, yeah I appreciate that Howie. Uh, and that's that's the main point of these live streams is that you know, again, I think you, some of you may have heard this before, but with uh, Devin, my brother, who does all the editing, all the filming and editing, with him having a baby girl, you know, we had to take a couple weeks off of filming, and I wanted to give you some content, so that's why we're doing the live streams, which, again, is just fun to hang out. Like, like you said, it's fun to hang out and watch other people work, and it's fun to uh, hang out with you guys. Also gives me a great excuse to come over and help. Otherwise, he's stuck <laughs> doing this by himself. One and a half by two. Perfect. One and a half by two. Just a little bit of wiggle room. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, that has a that one's seated. All three of them are different. We ta da! Nice. Perfect. I was actually wondering how we were uh, going to connect this. I didn't realize your your truck had. Yeah, most pickup trucks have that on the on the corner on the back. Yeah, or at least all a, old ones did. Well, I'm sure mine did, but when I had a truck, I always had a cap on it. Right. Like the moment I bought it. So this was all covered by the cap. Right. Let's see. So that's got that there. I just got to see if I can hit that. Hit it with the hammer. It's just this. There we go. Straighten it out. <laughs> How dare you get out of place, truck? All right, so I'll trim these to 24 inches each. Which is roughly. They don't. I checked it. It's, it's a weird thing. So I actually checked these with the tape measure for the depth. And this one is like exactly six inches, almost exactly six inches. Yeah. Going any farther. That one goes down roughly five and a quarter and then that one that's why that's why we had to put up it does it just it's just oh, where that down yeah there. okay I right. see you going. so that and then this one is roughly seven okay. inches okay. so they're all different which is weird you would think that would be something standard but that's why we're going to put the verticals in first yeah. and then uh, clamp it to it i do need to take these ropes oh, out okay. i get it now i heard what you said i just hadn't I didn't know exactly this was all going together when you said it, so I was like, all right. Yeah, put the verticals in verse. Yeah. <laughs> so I we'll do, you. yeah. And then we also, I want to stain at least this. So maybe cut, maybe, I guess we'll do it all, put it all together, stain it, and put it in place. Well, because we're not, are you... Just these, I guess. Any physical fasteners, or just sticking it in into the holes? No, yeah, it'll be just stuck into the holes. That'll be that's how it'll be held to the truck. Okay. It's so just we can pull it out and stain it once it's all together. Yeah, exactly. We'll put it all together. Well, yeah, we'll mark everything. We'll pull it out and build it. Maybe out here. Maybe maybe not. Maybe we'll just clamp it all and then screw it right in place. That'll be easy enough. All right. So first we need to how far is that? Twenty inches. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. That's plenty. Okay. So let's mark this. Everybody chiming in. Robert. Robert Deming is. My dad's kitchen knife. Oh yeah, nice. We have the, uh, there's that specific video where we do the kitchen knife 
rehandle. All right, so seven and a half. So you want it to come up? 90, 30. <laughs> I'm just gonna trim it into three parts evenly okay. and then we can adjust it. And we have plenty of material. I'm not worried about, you know, having any, needing any extra 30. These are exact, it's exactly 90 inches, which is perfect. Cut it into three, even 30 inch lengths, which will give me six pieces of 30 and then we can put them all in and start attaching them. I considered, uh, like, not, uh, if you guys were here, I considered using the two by fours and stuff. I was like, well, I need more content. This is, I feel like this is gonna all happen really quickly. <laughs> all the other live streams are like an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes. This one's gonna be like, 25 minutes, we're done. That's okay. I'm Rinda Radhawa. Hello, welcome. Uh, Howie Z is here, Fern here, Chance. Therio, Flippin' Zippo. Oh, I do like that name too, Flippin' Zippo. Flippin' Zippo, he's a Flippin' Zippo. I got, I got really into Zippos in college. I had, you know, a couple, probably a dozen or so. Oh, nice. <laughs> varied types and... Let's see, let's do... Then I graduated college. <laughs> <laughs> I never smoked anything, so like having a whole bunch of Zippos, just all I did was play with them. Yeah, I, um, I, I mean, just the, just having a lighter is cool and important i think most of the time and also uh gives you the ability to start a fire whenever you want actually this can go like this Do this one so i'm going to trim these off at the same time i'll just run a straight cut and again i'm not too worried i'm going to end up trimming stuff off the top anyway so it's okay if they're not perfect doesn't doesn't need to be perfect um it's all going to be cut down it's not going to be perfect when it's cut down either. And also one of the reasons why um, I'm, I'm not worried about it being perfect or looking perfect is because I want it to look like an old kind of rustic hayride that Halloween-y type look to it. So it's actually the more, you know, the more rustic it looks, the better. So that'll be fine if it's, you know, uh, that's why we're gonna stain it. This, which is clean wood, I'm gonna stain with uh, this Minwax timber oil um, or Thompson's Water Seal timber oil. It's just a walnut, transparent walnut. So it'll just give it a darker look, but it also won't, um, it'll just, yeah, it'll just age it some. So it, that way it matches the stuff, the older wood that's down on the ground that we're standing on. Mm, there. Whoop. All right, now we can do that first. Okay. The first one in there, the corners are a little tight on the other two. Okay. Maybe I'll. Uh... So we might just have to like. It'll be fine if we think if we just hammer the corners and compress it a bit. Yeah, that's a good idea. We could also shave them off. Yeah, and I was gonna use, but I think I think you're right. Hammering will then just give them the like. We'll also just push it in some, so we only have to go like six inches or something. I'll do a foot. Trim some. Same difference. Use my knife. Right in there, so it gets a little narrow in there. that out some oh man it's kissing on the whole thing front and back 
so it's too narrow there. Okay, well let's, maybe we can just rip them a little bit more on the ends. Right, that's what I mean, rip them, rip some of this off. I mean, I can go down some scrub a hand plane, it'll take two seconds. Yeah, let's do that. That'll work. Then we can, let's see, I'll do, check the other sides, make sure we need it for all four. Oh, and did I bring out, oh, I did. <laughs> I think, did I? No, I lied. Hey, John, on the, uh, on the workbench in the middle is my vise that has the clamp that we can clamp it on, so grab that too. So I have a, um, a smaller vise that should work pretty well to, uh, yeah, that one needs to go down. Um, that I can just clamp directly on here so we can clamp it and then we can plane these down just a little bit, which will work perfectly. And that, check all of them. And the idea is that we like, it's a little, it's still a little bit, uh, a little too wide, a little too wide, the short way rather than the long way. The long way is where we ripped it. The long ways are fine. It's the short way that's still a little too wide. The, uh, the inside of these, the top holes are like inch and a half, but then once you get inside, it narrows down a little bit. I think that's designed specifically to pinch and clean, you know, get a really nice tight clean and fit. And I think these are all designed for two by fours you know, standard size, not necessarily the standard depth, uh, but they are all standard size. And I, I'm pretty sure, or like a two by three, so it should fit in there, but still a little narrow. So we'll just get all that stuff in there. That one goes on the other side. That way we'll have this one. We can actually work with this. Ta -da. Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna need some love. <laughs> Everything that lives in, in your the, basement, uh, like my shop, yeah, because right. it gets so humid here. It needs some love. Yeah. Like mine were even hung on the uh, hung on my wall, and they rusted in the summer. Oh yeah. I usually try to treat these with some like WD-40 something before I put them away, but even still, they still end up getting rusty. Is what it is. All right, that might be. That might be good enough. Let's give it a shot. I know that one was that's still a little tight there. That'll be for Halloween, buddy. Yep. So you still have what two weeks until Halloween? Yeah, but it'll all be ready to go. All right, so that needs some more. I wonder if we just... We could take off the other side. Keep it centered. Right, yeah. Work out. Bolted together with car carriage bolts. <laughs> Trying to figure out ways to make the video longer. <laughs> and playing. have to hold on to the wood. Oh, you weren't on the table when oh, I started. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that worked pretty well. Bottom. Huh? I was saying you're, it was the wood on the bottom. You need too much, right? No. I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily want them to be super tight in there. I want them to be able to, you know, be tight, but not, you know, yeah. I want to be able to kind of pull it out in and out without, uh, you know, while it's all together in one long piece. All right, so that one and these, and these fit in. Yeah, those yeah, fit all the way in, okay. Yeah. Did those, uh, those fit on that side? This, no. They're all still too wide. They all need to be narrowed some. Yeah.
dead weight. There we go. While he's working, I can hang out and talk. <laughs> if I'm on the edge of the frame, I think. So we just hit 90,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, you know, when we started the channel early on, we were thinking it would be fun, uh, fun to, you know, just get together and hang out and film some stuff and make some stuff and uh, see where things went. And it's been really nice. It's been really successful and it's nice to see that people are in, interested and, you know, we put a lot of effort and time into, uh, into the videos. So it's nice to get a good response. We just put out our sword build video, which is doing okay. Not the greatest, but you know. Who knows? You just kind of keep on putting stuff out. We will probably be getting together. Devin and I will be getting together this week uh, to start a video thinking about shooting the archery range, uh, which I think I was talking about last week doing, you know, I've done some bow making videos. There's a range nearby um, that we like to shoot on the occasion. It's a free archery range and it kind of winds its way through this, the woods of a nearby park. That Sean and I shoot all the time. So thinking about maybe doing that video this week, going out and shooting the range and using the bow that I made in the Osage bow video, um, if you guys remember that one. So we'll see, we might do that. And then we're thinking about starting a new bow making video as well, uh, reaching out to uh, a, a local uh, state park and another guy that I know who um, can get some, has access to hickory and we wanna hopefully make a hickory bow um, so we'll show you that process. Hickory bows are a little bit easier than um, Osage because you don't have to worry about uh, you don't have to worry about taking off the sap wood. Oh, good, you can see me if I'm sitting there. Yeah, I could be doing that. Sean's dad bought him this hammer when he was in high school. Is it our high school or early college? All right. And then somehow it ended up living back at your parents' house until recently, right? Well, yeah, because I was in college. And then oh, I didn't whoa. With me when I oh, man. Breakfast. Thank out. you so much. Or when I moved away, so. <laughs> You're out of the <laughs> frame right there. Okay, good. <laughs> I got breakfast delivered to me. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. This is more like lunch being delivered. Oh, your, your 1989. Yep. 89. You can tell by the round windows. Finders keepers said he figured some uh, steel and welding was gonna happen. Yeah. No, that's that's too uh, that's too nice. It's, it has to look rustic. It doesn't have to be rustic, but it has to look rustic. So I figure. Having it all wood will be perfect. And I guess we'll do stuff on the inside. Yeah. There's my counterweight. <laughs> but yeah, so we're thinking about doing a, uh, a bow making, hickory bow making video next because uh, showing the process of hickory is a little bit easier. You get the wood if you have access to hickory and you can you know get a hickory stave, let it dry for a half a year or a year or so, and then uh, all you have to do is take the bark off. You don't have to worry about anything, and that, where the bark has been removed, that is the, uh, that'll be the back of your bow. That's the part that faces away from you. It's ready to go. So then all you have to do is basically remove the inside, the belly, the part that faces towards you, remove them enough where it's bending evenly on both sides and the weight that you want it. Yes. <laughs> My kid's gonna be adopted by a golfer. <laughs> But our, our other friends, um, they live in a, 
like a cul-de-sac neighborhood. That's probably, what do you think, like 30 houses maybe? Oh, if 40? Not, yeah. maybe less. Maybe 24, um, maybe yeah. 30. <laughs> I don't know. But it's, it's a nice, it's a perfect place to go trick-or-treating, which they're not going to be doing this year, but it's in years past we've done it because it's just the neighborhood, you know, 24 to 25 to 30 houses. And uh, there are, you know, individual houses in the neighborhood, so you can kind of walk around and it's not a ton of houses, but it's like they're far enough that um, you get a good time out trick or treating, and you have you know, the kids have fun, and everybody does really good uh, chocolate and Halloween candy because they know that they're going to have just like the neighborhood kids. They're off and in. Nice. Okay, so now, well, that was tight. <laughs> just have to hit the corners of that. Speaking of joinery, somebody was saying we should make it really long by doing joinery. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I, I recently did a, uh, a Paul Sellers workbench build. And oh, I'll yeah. tell you what, that was the first like joinery I did. It was my first time doing mortise and tenons, and it was a long process, and they're not perfect. But I'll tell you what, that bench is solid. <laughs> and I also learned a whole ton of respect for hand tools because most of the pieces of that were so big that like they wouldn't like my saws my automatic my power saws wouldn't cut through it so right it's like yeah. i'm cutting most of the way through it going back with a hand saw <laughs> trimming it up using yeah. a hand plane to make sure everything's square yeah that's how paul would have done it so all right let's see anybody chatting hey drew's here hey drew if i say hi to drew it's my brother we did a sean and drew and our buddy charles and uh, his uncle jack we all race on a race sailboat team, which you guys probably know about. Um, we raced, we did a race yesterday, which was super frustrating because it was really bad wind and really shifty and no wind. I think, you know, we might've had consistent wind for 10 minutes, like at the end of the race. <laughs> the last it. leg, the last yeah. leg was consistent wind. Um, but we just, we got ninth place out of 14 boats. So not great, but we did beat, uh, there were four other boats in our division that were the same boat as us. And we beat, we came, we came second out of those four. So we beat two of the other, uh, the other uh, four. I so. was hoping we would have beaten Suzy Q as well. Yeah, they had, I've... Suzy Q had a worse rating than we did. They, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it was so weird. I mean, there were boats, we beat boats in the A division, which are the big fast boats. And then there were, you know, some of the slow boats, it's, it was really like, in the Chesapeake Bay, the wind was so shifty across the bay. It's really wide. So if you're on one side, you might get some wind. I mean, it was shifty between you know, here in my house, like 20, 40, 50 yards away, and you would have different wind. It was so weird. So uh, one of the other boats that raced against was in the A division. Actually, we finished right in front of them, a boat called Cookie Monster. They actually said, uh, they, they like said it perfectly after the race. They're like, we raced all day long and learned nothing about sailboat racing. So it was like the perfect, it just exemplified the day because nothing, it was just, the wind was weird and shifty. And it, it was just, I mean, we at, literally at one point we, turned around, we tacked, so we turned direction, we sailed back for maybe 10 minutes, and then turned back, and so you kind of work your way, you zigzag up through a course when you're sailing into the wind, and we turned and went back, and literally were back exactly where we started like 20 minutes ago, and then sailed the exact same course. So we just sailed backwards for 10 minutes. And then by doing that, we put ourselves back in the middle of the course, which then we got good wind, and we did really well. So we made a really bad mistake and did really well because of it. Parsh, push, parsh. All right, so now we should have enough clamps that we can clamp, can bring out, yeah, I brought out six. So we should be able to clamp on these two rails. We'll do the, the bottom and the two by four first. And then we wanna go, yeah, they're both, both of them will work. They'll both have to be trimmed down. Um, let's flip it around. The end's gotta come off this one, but. Yeah, both ends have to come off, so we'll have to <laughs> figure the middle somewhere. <laughs> just, just the end coming off. But the nice thing, again, is that this, so you want it roughly three inches up, and then we'll adjust. Maybe Should the be. level doesn't really help. No, no, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll measure it. All right, so have that. Actually, I'll leave the middle one. So, yeah, measure three. You go back on the other side. 
Yeah, there you go. That makes more sense. <laughs> I'm at four. All right. So there's three. Yeah. And then we'll do the same on this side. And then we'll just clamp the middle and we can. That should be good. Close enough. All right. So. Will the suit? And well, if it doesn't, <laughs> if it doesn't, that doesn't matter. I will put a clamp on that. So let's do that. Now let's grab the next one, the two by six, and we'll put that above it. And then go three inches above it and clamp. Rough three inches. Apparently my ability to eyeball three inches is bad. <laughs> I got a half an inch closer than last time. That's close enough. How can oh yeah. Madison, I went to uh, I went to college up in uh, well, it was Tri State University. Now it's called Trine University in Angola, north of Fort Wayne. Perfect. All right. So I think that should be plenty, plenty high enough, where then you have people sitting inside on bales of hay. Then they have a rail yeah because your hay bales shouldn't come up above your, your right. truck rail yeah and, and i didn't put those when we attach them obviously they're outside now do we want to put them on the inside i thought about that because i'm looking at the gapping on the back side right if they're leaning against it then that makes more sense yeah yeah okay well let's uh i want to mark it so actually let's flip them around to the other side hold on i want to check one more thing or we can actually mark, oh, well, I have, my, I have my square, so we can mark it. That's all good. Yeah. You're fine. Yeah. Adults who like to play. <laughs> so that would be sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. No. What are you trying to do? I was trying to, I, I didn't bring out, did I bring out my little square? I didn't, because I was like, oh, they're going to be longer. I, wanna, I was just going to draw a straight line across. Uh, here we go. That'll work. Instead of having to remove it, I'll just draw a line across so we can, or I mean, we'll still move it to the inside before we screw it, but this way we can um, just flip them over. Flip them to the other side and, and it'll already be marked. All right, I'll do the same thing for the top. That one I can actually do like that. That's what I wanted. That's what I was like, I was able to do that. Mark this here and then we'll trim everything off afterward because might as well. Um, or maybe I think what we want to do. So if I do it up, yeah, I can trim it afterward. Okay. Well, that's the other thing. We can actually attach it on the outside and then just, and then just flip the thing 180, right? Because these are equally spaced. No, because remember the depths are different. That's why we're doing it this way. Yeah, it's got to be it's got to be moved, which is fine. That's why I marked them so we can no, just go. We also swap side for side. Yeah, oh, I do. We I'm will need to. Somebody was mentioning that they like it that it looks better with the boards on the outside. So uh, I was thinking, right. Wait, because we should be able to swap sides. Right. Take yeah, we can. This one, put it over there for the boards should on the be able to and swap them back for the boards on the outside. Right. Should, but again, this yeah. is. I don't know if you have intent to leave these here after Halloween. No, not really. I mean, okay. maybe. Like, cool. <laughs> um, or at least, you know, not permanently. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if they were, if that was your intent or not. Well, let's let's put it around to the other side and we'll take a look at it and see what we think. I kind of agree. I like it, you know, that way. Um, it's gonna have to go like that. And actually, I don't mind them actually hanging over a little longer. So, the way they are, you know. Uh, where that? Oh, marks on top. So. Oh, yeah, I don't know. And then you obviously have to imagine without the tops, like these will be off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah I think. I, I think comfort wise for riders, it should go inside. But. Yeah. But they could be adjusted for the look, which I agree. Let's see what we got. 
make a run to the landfill right exactly. Should stand with sideboards, Howie, Madison. Right, and those are all the things I think, um, I think for, at least for the comfort of the riders, for now it'll probably be um, probably end up leaving it. Let's do that. Yeah, we have to take both ends off of this one, so I don't know if it'll be able to be left long at all. We don't have to. I guess it doesn't matter if it's as long as it's connected, fine. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think I, I kind of like it with a little bit longer. Oh, okay. I yeah. So I so yeah. Trim that end off, and then right. It will just trim that end, and then leave this end. Like it can be a little bit. It'll fit both sides fine. Or that just not trim them at all. Oh, well, this one. Up. This. Well, that one can stay where it is. It has. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it goes through. No, it's fine. So I might leave that like that. All right. Um. So let's screw from the inside out. Um, and we'll just do two. I think we just need two. Two for each one. Um, I have my, yeah, countersink. So let's we'll put it all together while we're here. Two per? Yep. Ah. I could have swore I draw my brought my driblets at. Oh well. I'll follow behind you. I feel like I need to that bottom one. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. That one doesn't look good. So again, if you guys are just joining, we're putting sideboards on my pickup to be able to do a hayride with our kids on Halloween because we're trying to figure out other fun things to do other than trick-or-treating this year. So this will be a hayride in the truck around the neighborhood. Do you want to trim this first or is it? Nope. Okay. Yeah, no, it's, it's, well, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, oh split. God, we could do three one? if you want to just do a one on top, too. It's all right. Oh, man. <laughs> Nothing about that felt like solid wood. <laughs> oh. uh, actually, I don't need that on there. It's fine. Got screws in. Trimmed and then that one. Yep. So screwing, um, putting everything together in place so we know that all the measurements are correct. And then we'll just pull it off and we'll trim off the excess. 
um, it should be fine. Again, I don't need it to look perfect because the idea is that it's for a hayride, so I want it to kind of look rustic. And it'll still work fine. Oh! I had one, grabbed one more than I need. Oh no, nope. yeah, that's right, you put a few There's in. There's one there. I'll just come <laughs> back to grab one more. <laughs> all right. Cool. All right, I'm gonna do the other side and then, and then we'll uh, finish. Let's grab, let's see, let's see. Yeah, exactly, this is the idea is like, I like the look of it, it still looks, you know, my truck obviously is old and farm looking. So I'm more than happy to have these on there. They look kind of cool. But I definitely wanted to uh, stain the verticals just so the, the look matches. Halloween without a little tetanus. I need you guys. I need one of you guys help. What do you need, buddy? Can you guys climb a little high on the tree with it? With it to sprinkle pine cones for the for my party birthday? No, you have to have we have to have uh help you. Yeah, you Cuz we're here. You, buddy. So we got we have a whole group of people here watching us. Yeah. So we can't right, leave the camera. the camera. See? Right there. Oh, hi. <laughs> That's here, if you want to come over and see. See, there's you. <laughs> You're on camera, and we're live, so we have a whole bunch of people that are hanging out watching us, too. Well, because we could, so I don't want to do it right now, and then I said I was going to be bothered. All right, then you got to wait a little bit. We're busy. But it's a nice surprise cake. Mmm. That sounds cool. All right. Why do you guys have to do what is it? What does it look like? We're making these so that oh. you can sit in the truck when there are hay bales there. One, two. I guess we only need four. We do. There's two in the truck. And there's one. I know. I was going to, instead of having to climb up there. What's that? Well, we're going to, we'll be, we'll have hay bales inside. So that way you can sit on the hay bale. That's why you'll be sitting on it and not crawling around inside of it like a nest. You'll be fine. You're not rolling around in it. <clears throat> oh, sorry. It's all right. I got that. Got this. Meow. Oh, baby, this one's heavy. <gasps> you don't want to carry it by yourself? <laughs> yeah, I could, but inside. I know, I was looking at the bow. Oh, pretty. No, it's pretty straight. Straight enough. Um, so. Just go approximately the same distance past as the I other one. Right there. Why do you have a clip with tape on it? Emery, Emery, go play. <laughs> I have it on there so that way my uh, my clamps don't stick to my knife handles when I glue them together. And if they do stick, they stick to the glue and not to the... Okay, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> All right. So and, uh, that little one is my son. Uh, <laughs> he just turned five this past August and is an exceptionally social human. And with <laughs> COVID times, man, he must be getting sick of his parents. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to do two person job. Down. That's funny, it's like, there we go. It's rotating on. Yeah, <laughs> pivoting on the actual thing. Go ahead, let me give you useful measurements here. There we go. All right. That. We'll do the other one. Let's get. Um, here, go, let's swing around. So let me go that way. That way. 
<clears throat> Go like this. Whoop. Go right. Right there. Approximately. No! So close! <laughs> so close! Close enough for hay rides. Then why'd you hey! move it? <laughs> Mine was perfect. <laughs> why'd you move it? You just flaxed your standards between one and the other. <laughs> All right. Try to be eating on camera, but in that breakfast, I was running around. Had to go get my wireless mic for my brother. And get everything ready and set up to look really nice for everybody. It's all right. Managing. He just started after I got here. Yep. I was running late, so <laughs> I had to put I saw it, yeah, right at 11.15. I was like, hmm, actually worked out perfectly. I was like, I had to put my other son down for a nap because that sailboat race yesterday meant my wife was solo parenting both kids all day all long. Day. Yeah. We left at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I didn't get back home until 7 o'clock at night. Oh, yeah. And uh, our other friend Charles, his daughter's one year old, and... Uh, she was here with my wife and daughter, so they got to watch a one-year-old all day long, which my wife was perfectly happy to do, but it's been a long time since she's had to be responsible for a one-year-old all, all day long. And our house is no longer set up for one-year-olds. <laughs> it's not even really house, set up for any children is, at all. This house has never been set up for one-year-olds. Like, <laughs> right, exactly. Like, what, right. Five when you moved yeah. here? I mean, you know, I've got like... I didn't have them out yesterday, but I always have like knives all over the place and axes and sharp stuff and... You know, I don't know. But what are you going to do? All right, so. Drone crew. Yep. Aha. Aha. She's over here. You can. You start them. Oh, baby. That was definitely not. That's some more solid wood. This one's going to be strong, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which one, the top one? Well, no, the, oh, the second screw, yeah. I didn't see it before I drilled it. Yeah. Open. And this bottom board is, uh, is oak. It's an oak. That's actually a full dimension oak 2x4. Yeah. I would suggest turning down your video slightly. <laughs> Unless you like the sound. Yeah. Crank her up. Keep it in place. Gotcha. Whoa.
and we're done. See you guys. Oh. No, <laughs> That's the one that doesn't have anything in it, but I'll put it in there since we got a hole. Oh yeah, I didn't mean to put a screw in it. Yeah. I just needed a third one there. All right. All right. <laughs> now, let's see how far out the one went. This one got three inches. Three inches. Any project where we don't have to run to the hardware store is a success. Oh man, that's the truth. Jeez. I remember my first house I bought, I was less than seven minutes from both of Lowe's and the Home Depot. <laughs> and at that, at that distance, doesn't matter at all. Like I will go to the hardware store four times in a day to get a project <laughs> done. But uh, now I'm like 15 to 20 minutes from the Home Depot. I'm like, all right, I'm make sure I have every, because I'm not doing that four times. <laughs> Yeah, and just, I mean, even going, like, having everything out here and ready to work today, I, like, went back into my shop three or four times and I still forgot a few things. I mean, if you guys would, when uh, when Sean was pulling up, I had literally had started the live stream and walked away to go get more wood. I was like, ah, oh, this is going to be a little awkward, but uh, I'll leave everybody just hanging out by the truck. Right, so those are ready to cut. Those can be just trimmed up. And then we can see they should be universal left to right, so we could flip them around the other way. But I mean, really, this makes more the, sense. Do you want to get the rails flush with the top or do you want to leave like an inch on top? Mm, that's a good question. I don't know. I guess we can cut. So those Yacha, what do you think? Should we leave an inch above the horizontal rail on the vertical? I'm trying to or? think like, yeah, what would be the what would be the benefit? Like if I were... Visual. There's no there's no benefit other than I, I would think, because it'll allow you to see them poking up, kind of like yeah. a fence post. That's what I'm thinking, like, is there a benefit other than visual? I don't. I mean, <laughs> for like actual use of side rails, you know, I could do... Uh, it would give you something to tie a rope to. Yeah, right. If I had to top, if it was sticking out some, yeah, I could tie. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. I mean, obviously, tie a rope to the whole thing, but <laughs> I do like if you go across, you know, you go across and then tie it, you know, bring yeah. it up, 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 if you're zigzagging. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I don't, I don't know if I mind that, maybe two inches. An inch seems too short if it was going to be actual purposeful. Anybody's opinion? I guess we can always cut it and trim it off if it looks bad. Kids will be talking about the head's old truck. Yeah, exactly. I have a, a couple good picks. Um, and now I have a YouTube video that will be completely uh, preserved for eternity. Cross your fingers. Well, Holly, we don't have to take pictures. We're recording it. It'll be on the internet forever. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, 68 minutes. Wow, it's been an hour. All right. Okay. So, we'll pull it out, we'll trim it at like two inches, stain it, put it back on, see how it looks. You want well, to mark, I guess we can mark it when mm, it pulls off, maybe, too, um, but you got to trim these in. Maybe I'll trim it in place. Yep. Oh wait, I can see if I like it. Two inches. I'm gonna do two just because I think if it's gonna be like I feel like if it's gonna stick up, it needs to have some purpose other than purely aesthetic. Now, obviously, <laughs> no, I agree. The whole <laughs> the tying stuff to it, I'm like, yeah, head, I was thinking we'll need more than an inch, Otherwise yeah, it'll just slide off always, yeah, right. Let's do that, cut it in place, see how it looks. I mean, I think really like. Either way would be fine. So, <clears throat> let's see. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Shush. Yeah, sure, why not? I think it. I don't think it looks bad. So. No, yeah. 
I think it looks fine. And now, and again, you know, it's, there's a purpose to it. So that's always good. It doesn't have to look good or bad. It has to f serve a function, function, serve a purpose, have a function. Oh, I gotta mark these. All right. Yeah, I measured two from the top and then I mean your speech. There you go. Nope, just the two. Just one, actually. It only needs to be on the outside. I just did it, moved around from the side because I was able to measure from the back. Yeah, I'm fine. Just got jammed in that blade, which is good. It didn't shoot back at me. Let's unplug it and one jam it. <laughs> Dang. Come on, you. Oh, it's jammed there. That. Bent the blade a little bit. Blade bent at all? No, it's actually not. It was like, it was because it was inside of the I have the saw unplugged everyone just so you know <laughs> not playing with the blade <laughs> no, no, it's fine okay good everything is inside good so just push the wood when it when it cut it pulled it back inside the inside the saw which is fine it didn't blade straight everything looks good I'll give it a try real quick I figured since I'm here I can trim these off. Might as well trim them off now in place too. <laughs> Robert's trying to make our job harder for us. Overcomplicating things. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone called him out on it. He wants more uh, content. <laughs> how he called him out on it. Like, that's why I'm standing around watching them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, can I get in there? Nah, it's a little too close to the back of the truck. All right, so we'll pull them out and then set yeah, them. Yeah, it'll be easier to cut them because once you get it down, you'll be able to rest them on their yeah. sides and just have the blade space behind it. All right. This stuff off. Actually, I'll take this off too. Actually, I could have just spun it around. That's all right. All right, let's see. I'll try to get these out. Yeah. Slide it that way. Yeah. Yep, it's gotta go the other way. Just because my marks are there. Half the other way, but that's where my marks are, so I can see that. You're off camera on that end, I think. I'll be here. Shouldn't be off. Oh no, you're fine. Yeah, I was Sorry. just saying I can see. It was a 10 second delay. Right oh, <laughs> I was saying you can see the corner of my truck. I think. Yeah, no, you're holding so. Oh, that one is full dimension. More than my blade. Let's go. Oh, I, should, um, I got there. We go. If we get these cut to length, we should take a wire brush. Yeah, clean them up. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about that with like either that or um, maybe let them sit up on it for a couple of days before I try because they were kind of in my stack of wood so they were wet. Yeah. But yeah, I did have the same thing wire brush. You can clean up all the, the gunk. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> lines weren't exactly quite lined up. Let's see, that's all right. this over here for now. All right. So normally you would use, um, most circular saws actually are designed to go the other way. So the blade is on the right side. Um, this one is a, a left-handed one my dad got for me. And it's funny, I actually like it better because I'm, as someone who's right-handed, I like holding onto it with my right hand and seeing the blade here instead of trying to look over the top. So it works well. Yeah, I'm always looking awkwardly over the top of my, yeah. almost like. But the nice thing about that, it, or, it's nice because I don't have to look over the top. It, it's unfortunate for you guys because you get to look at my back <laughs> while I'm cutting. All right. So now we can uh, stain them and then we should be done. You're just staining the room, right? Just staining, yeah. And maybe just the, I don't even know if we need to do the ends. We could hit the ends of the, the cutoff pieces just to darken them up a little bit. Shake well. Just making sure. Shaking, not stir. Yeah. Sometimes you get things that say do not shake, to stir only. So I was double checking. I have a couple brushes. You can use the two, yeah, either ones are fine. Um, I'm gonna use this one just because I know it's crappy and the stain ruins it. Does it? I don't know. As I'm saying, if it does, this is already a crappy well, do you brush. Have a preference which one I use? I don't particularly care. Um, yeah, big one. <laughs> Pour in this direction. It's weird. Ooh, um, if you pour baby. in the other direction, mm -hmm. it does the glug 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 thing. Ah. So in that direction, you're holding oh. the top so it doesn't have the air, just... the air pressure. Right, nice. All right, so we are just staining the verticals just because they're light and I cut them and then I'm gonna hit the ends of some of these just because they're light as well, just to get a darker look on these. For the look of the, look of the hayride. I would, I'm sure it would have been fine as well if I left the way it was, but I thought it'd be nice. I think that does look nice, that dark, dark stain. And this is a, um, t it's called timber oil, a penetrating oil, exterior woods, decks, fences, outdoor furniture, wooden sideboards. Oh man, look at the uh, difference between the hand planed area. Oh and the yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, and I was thinking of that too. It's gonna be a little different, but it's, it's okay. It just looks more rustic. Yep. And just try not to get too, too much on the other boards. Not that it would make too much of a difference, but then, you know, I want to look. It's part, part of it is the look. It's all about aesthetics for this. It's funny because we're, I'm making this to look a certain way. So I'm like, it's about aesthetics, but it's not about good aesthetics. <laughs> it's about bad aesthetics. It needs to look like a worn... How about 
not aged. Making, <laughs> it's not about making it look good. It's about making it look like the rest of the stuff. Right, yeah. <laughs> making it look old. Right, bottom doesn't need to be done, but... And it is nice, I mean, because this is a penetrating oil. It's actually kind of nice. It might be nice to have... No, can't do it yet. Um, it'll actually protect us, so it'll be functional as well as it'll look good. West Coast mirrors. <laughs> Not being able to get the truck out. Do you know what West Coast mirrors are? I mean, I can, I can probably guess, but I've never heard them called that. No. Ooh, Shishugi Bond. Oh, Shishugi Bond. <laughs> That's a good idea. And we'd get to play with fire. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> Said, uh, this is so much better than watching the news. <laughs> Oh, I, that's the truth. I agree 100%. I'm going to slide this your way so I can work on this and work on mine and still be in, camp, in frame. Yeah, I think. Let's see. It's fine. I like a moving character. See it now? Yeah, there's quite a delay. I don't need my safety glasses on anymore. Ooh, dirty down here. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> There's so many more surfaces for it to sit on top of and be dark instead of soak in. Reminds me a little bit. Um one of the first big woodworking projects that Dustin and I ever did was we built dining room tables together, yeah. mostly, almost entirely out of reclaimed lumber. Yeah. Um, and so mine had uh, tongue and groove uh, wall boards that came from a barn. Somebody was tearing down somewhere around Maryland and they just posted online that it was like, hey, free wood. We're tearing yeah. down this barn. Come grab whatever you want. I'm like, okay, sure. Yeah. And that's and actually so, like pretty well sought after stuff. People love, I mean, even then it was like the whole reclaim thing was in, was already in fashion then, but even, even more now. Like. Yeah. Well, and so I was building a table out of this stuff and the wall boards were from inside of a stall. And so they had a whole bunch of gouges and whatnot in it. And the barn was probably 70, 80 years old. And so once I started planing these smooth, those gouges, just really popped because they were still dark and the rest of the wood because it was pine was nice and light. Hold on to that. I got just needed to grab a clamp. There. Oh yeah, right. So everything was all of all of the divots and whatnot were just accented. Yeah. My um, my dad and my brothers and I and a friend of his redid my parents kitchen floor when we were in high school. It was mostly my dad and his buddy but uh, who did it, but our neighbor was taking down an oak fence and let us basically have all the oak. Um, he reached, he's, you know, I think he was pulling it down and my dad noticed and, you know, wondered if he would give it to us, which he did. Um, and my dad and his buddy planed all the oak down. Um, and it was just turned out being like beautiful, beautiful oak. You know, you get like that surface off and everything, you know, like you go down a sixteenth of an inch or so and everything below there is just, you know, hard wood. It was all solid. It was beautiful. And we did our entire kitchen floor with it. Turned out really nice. Some gaps. Yeah, I would say we just put them right back on. That was kind of what I was thinking. Because it's like, it's not going to hurt the truck and that way it'll be able to see it done in place. Get drifts on this side of the pit. Oh, thank you. I'm going to dip. So inside, outside, let's go. 
I guess we'll put them. This one was, was this here. side. Okay, let's do that. Oh yeah. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, looks good. I definitely, uh, the dark is way better. Matches good mm. and looks aged out oh, right at the end of this one. <laughs> Everyone was looking like, oh, now the end. Get the end. I think those ones got trimmed, so they were already good. There's only this one and this one. Yeah, just that one. Just that one that got trimmed. All right. That's funny, who's that? Bill Bly says, you know the master painter is the guy with the long handle paintbrush. He's the instructional leader. <laughs> In painting, Dustin is definitely the instructional leader. I hate painting. And I absolutely hate. love painting. Not painting, not like house painting. I'm a painter. <laughs> I went to school for fine art, and I, I'm a painter. Like, I, a landscape painter. That's what I do, so... So, <laughs> but you so know, I, I've done several house projects over the years. Like I've done sunrooms, bathrooms, etc. And my wife is hands off, 100%. And she's perfectly capable, mind you. <laughs> but she is 100% hands off until it comes time to paint. <laughs> and then it's like I've got finishing, I've got finishing stuff to do. By all means, you can paint the whole thing. Right, exactly. You're like, oh, good. I paint away. I usually on her for aesthetic decisions anyway. So right. she's all, I'm always like, what color do you want to paint it? <laughs> and then she gets excited about the finished product. Like, yeah, oh, right. I'm going to do all of this. Hang the pitchfork. <laughs> you can screw a piece of PVC pipe somewhere to hang the pitchfork. Yeah, right. <laughs> I like oh, that's that. That's a great idea. <laughs> if I had a farm, oh, I would. Hey, ride. You need a pitchfork, right? Uh, right. <laughs> we, uh, we discussed this in our most recent podcast and my brother was like joking about being in the back of the pickup truck going down the road at like 60 miles an hour everybody would need hay, uh, hay masks <laughs> oh, <laughs> like man. i'm just I driving was, around the neighborhood i was listening to that yesterday morning on the way down to the sailboat race yeah. and just busted out laughing <laughs> get your hay masks on kids <laughs> <laughs> we know everybody would have them <laughs> everyone's got their mask with them to the end. Bottom. I actually don't necessarily, or don't particularly like painting, house painting oh, in general. <laughs> like, I'll do it, but uh, yeah, you know, not, not my favorite. I mean, for me, it works out perfectly because I, I legitimately hate it. And so... Uh, and Kate's Kate, happy. And Kate likes it. So, yeah, well, there you go. Because by that point, she's been waiting on the finished product for however long it's taking me to do it, which, right. you know, room renovation by yourself takes a while. <laughs> yeah, she's like, all right, now I can... Yeah, now she can, she can do the end stuff, you know, yeah, like, the, like the design stuff. When, when she's looking at it and the floors are all gone and the joists are all gone and it's just a <laughs> hole under the basement, she doesn't quite have the vision for the end product yet, so there's no excitement there. As soon as everything goes in, she's like, oh, I, she can see it. And yeah. then she's on, on, fully on board with helping right. out. <laughs> I don't mind. Working working with me isn't the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> Justin knows. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's usually the one that comes over and helps me build stuff. That's right. This one's, one's working. We are getting there guys, we're almost done. This is the last step, just hitting the stain on these. Put this one into place, and that'll be it. Take the other side. No, actually, we're gonna take you in the truck, 
<laughs> and we're going to drive to get hay somewhere. So this is going to go on for another couple of hours. So get settled in, grab yourself a beer. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did put the, uh, people can see me here, outside, outside the frame. My, uh, my little teaser picture was like a hay, a hay wagon with a smile and a, a stein of beer. Forgot to bring beers out. Oh well. We're working. All right, just gotta flip it over to the other side. Boink. Uh, just grab a longer one so I can actually clamp it to the back. There. I got this timber oil from like a uh, Habitat Restore or something for probably under ten dollars. I actually wondered. I was like, why do you even have this? Yeah. <laughs> why not? I forget. There may have been something I was specifically using it for, or I just saw it and uh, Habitat for Humanity does you know, builds obviously all over the world, but they have um, their restore, which is basically when they do their projects and things in different places, when they have extra things left over, they sell them for discounted prices. So there's one nearby us here in Maryland. So I stop there pretty regularly. It's really nice. They'll have, they'll have like jars full of scrap, um, you know, hardware, like a whole jar full of just hardware or like all different screws or, you know, for a dollar or two dollars. So I have a lot of stuff that's come from there. It's because, you know, I always need more hardware or something. All right. That's good. Yep. Oh, the actual ends ends. Yep. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ends of the boards, not the ends of the verticals. Right. Horizontals. They're all boards. Go. Grass stuck there. Okay. All right. Your end is the end. Gotcha. I go up by the window. Gotcha. All right. Nice. Here we go, guys. So, again, if you join later on and you're wondering what this is for, I'm making this for uh, to be able to have a hayride for our kids and some friends of ours. Uh, on Halloween because we won't actually be doing trick-or-treating so we're gonna have a Halloween party and we're gonna have you know all the the, the doors around the house the kids are gonna trick-or-treat around the house and we'll do a hayride and we'll have a pinata and a bunch of other fun uh, Halloween party stuff so our only hope is that it's so it's not so much fun that then the kids don't want to trick-or-treat in the future They're like what if we just do a Halloween party again you buy us all full-size candy bars like Kate and Sean did <laughs> <laughs> well I mean they're mostly for us. There <laughs> yeah, are 30 right. full-size candy bars and only oh. one, two, four, uh, four kids that are eating candy. My yeah, six-year-old right. is not getting any. <laughs> um, <laughs> the rest are for the adults. Painting fog fin, <laughs> loads of beer. Oh no, that's always the reason why. If you're going to help somebody, you're going to get, you know, food, fed, and drink. So <laughs> one or the other, or both. All right. All right, guys. Well, thank you. It's been fun. I appreciate everybody hanging out. Sideboards are done. Just figured it would be something to bring you along on. Again, my brother Devin and I will be doing, um, we might be doing a, a video this week. We're going to start a new video this week, so we should have something coming out in the next couple weeks. Um, if you don't know, go check us out uh, on the Makery Network for our podcast, the Art of Craftsmanship Podcast, and you can follow me on Instagram. Follow Sean over at his YouTube channel, Crafting a Life I Want. Also the same name on Instagram. No spaces, right? Just crafting a life, crafting I, want. life I want. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. It's been fun. It looks really good. I'm really happy with it. 
I actually really like the way it looks on the truck and it'll probably live there from now on, maybe. <laughs> I don't see why I, not. I like it. I, mean, I like it. I mean, it, it, it matches the uh, aesthetic of the truck, the old pickup. And I use your truck to take loads of stuff to the, the dump. dump. Yeah, so right. this just makes it a larger load. <laughs> I, always, I always have like uh, ropes running through these holes for like tie downs and stuff, but now I have, you know, the actual wood to tie onto. So it should be fun. All right, guys. Thanks so much, everybody who's here. Really appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, I know we had a couple people talking, which was fun. Howie Z and Robert Downing, Bill Bly. Um, was it, what was the Zippo name? Uh, Flippin' Zippo. Flippin' Zippo. Drew stopped in, my brother. So it's been fun, guys. Appreciate you hanging out, making stuff, having fun, building things. We'll take some pictures of the kids in it with the hay and all. And uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next week.